So, this video is going to be a tutorial on how to insert text into Sony Vegas. It should work for both uh, Pro 9, and Pro 8, and other variations of Sony Vegas. First off, what we're going to do is here, you'll see these tabs, Explorer, Project Media, Transitions, Video Effects, and Media Generators. You want to make sure that Media Generators is selected. Over here, you'll see checkerboard, color gradient, credit roll, noise texture, all that stuff. You want to click on text. Once in here, you'll get all selectable options, like default text, select background, transparent background, soft shadow, all predefined. For this, we're going to be working on default text. So you want to click on default text, hold it down, and then drag it over to your timeline. So you'll see it appear here. Now what we need to do is just select all this text and press backspace to get rid of it. Now we can type in whatever we want. So I'm just going to type in the name of me. Now we'll go to uh, placement. We can place it anywhere in the video. Left, right, up, down, side, side. I'm going to keep it in the middle, but you can have it anywhere. Or if you if you want it to be more accurate, what you can do is uh, right here where it says freeform, just click on this drop down, and it'll snap it into place for you. Now click on properties, and you'll see the text color and the background color. If you click on this little arrow here, move it up, it'll change it so you have a background color, but if you move it down, it'll be transparent. And the same goes for the text, it's the same slider, if you move it down, the text is transparent, if you move it up, it's more solid. If you click on this color picker, it changes the color, so I'm going to keep it red. And then we click on effects, you can draw an outline, as you see. So what you can do is you can move these sliders and make it softer or more, you know, harder. You can change the width. You can draw a shadow. So when you click on draw a shadow, it draws a shadow here. And you can select how far away by moving the sliders. And if you want it up or down. And then enable deformation so it'll be like all this wacky stuff. Personally, I don't like it. Because you can never quite read it. So you see that? Just go through all these. Where are we? That's it. <laughs> so I'll just click off that. Next thing we need to do is going to be um, focusing on panning and cropping it. Now what we need to do is just, if you've never done this before, Right click on what you want to pan and crop. Go to video event pan and crop. And you'll see these little boxes. What you need to do is just reset it to whichever you want. As you see, the smaller the box gets, the more it zooms in. And the smaller, I mean, the bigger the box zooms out. So if we zoom it right in, all you gotta do is here in the keyframe timeline, just make a new keyframe. And then zoom it out a little bit. Move it along a bit more. Make a new keyframe. And there you go. Now we just need to play it. So you'll see the effect of panning cropping with text. So 
simple, right? So I'm gonna put that there. Hope this has helped, and until next time, thanks for watching, and goodbye.